In the bustling marketplace, the secret to capturing hearts and wallets might just lie in a century-old psychological concept called classical conditioning. Let's explore how this phenomenon is not just for textbooks, but a cornerstone of business persuasion. Classical conditioning, a concept introduced by Ivan Pavlov, is more than a psychological curiosity. It's a business strategy goldmine. By associating a neutral stimulus, like a brand logo, with a positive experience, companies can trigger a reflexive, loyal response from consumers. It's the art of creating an invisible thread between a product and a feeling of joy or satisfaction. At the heart of classical conditioning are two types of stimuli, unconditioned and conditioned. The unconditioned stimulus naturally elicits a response, like hunger from the smell of cookies. The conditioned stimulus, say a catchy jingle, becomes associated with that response over time. Together, they can make a brand synonymous with happiness or quality in the minds of consumers. Consider Coca-Cola's iconic branding, which pairs its logo with feelings of happiness, or Intel's Intel Inside slogan, which has become synonymous with high performance. These aren't just marketing tactics, they're classical conditioning at work, creating powerful brand associations that drive consumer behavior. Classical conditioning doesn't stop at branding, it extends to customer loyalty programs, where rewards create positive associations and employee motivation, where recognition and incentives lead to desired behaviors. It's a versatile tool that shapes not only consumer preferences, but also the culture of a business. But with great power comes great responsibility. The ethical implications of using classical conditioning in business are significant. Is it manipulation or persuasion? Where is the line between influencing and infringing on consumer autonomy? Critics also point out that human behavior is complex, and over-reliance on conditioning may neglect the importance of genuine connections. As we look to the future, technology is set to amplify the impact of classical conditioning in business. Personalized marketing, virtual reality experiences, and gamification are just the beginning. These innovations promise to create even more immersive and emotionally charged brand interactions, taking classical conditioning to new heights. In conclusion, classical conditioning is a potent force in the business world. It's a strategic key to unlocking brand loyalty and consumer engagement. By understanding and applying its principles, businesses can navigate the competitive landscape with psychological savvy and ethical foresight, ensuring their message not only resonates, but also endures.